Welcome back guys. It's been four long months and I've been in Mexico, but my adventures finally have come to an end. This is going to be one of the last adventures. We're going to go to some hidden beaches here in the state of Jalisco. Come on, let's go. For this trip, we're going to start in El Grillo, Jalisco. We woke up early and took off at eight in the morning. We stopped in Autlan and from there took the new road through Via Purificación down to Punta Perula. It's about two hours and a half. That could vary if you stop to get something to eat. It's not a hidden beach, but normally when people come to Jalisco, they always go to uh, Puerto Vallarta. So we're going to go to Punta Perula because there's an island called Isla Cocinas that I really want to check out. So we left El Grullo. We stopped here in Autolan. We're going to have breakfast and from there just keep on going. Autolan is actually one of the oldest Spanish communities built in the state of Jalisco, founded in 1536, while Guadalajara was founded later in 1542. Now that was some great menudo. But now we're gonna continue on our way. Let's roll. After breakfast in Atalan, it took us about two hours to get to Punta Perula. Now the first thing you're gonna notice that the town is not very touristic, it's not very developed, and it's actually kind of deserted, which brought up an issue with the whole boat ride to the islands. We just arrived to Punta Perula. We're trying to go out to Isla Cocinas, but it's on a group basis. The minimum you need is six people. There's only three of us, but it's okay. Look, they took down our number and they said as more people start arriving, they'll call us to complete the tour. It's a two hour tour. Uh, there's no snacks, beer, only one container of water allowed right now because they said there's like a plague going on. Other than that, we're just gonna go to town for now and wait till they give us a call. There's also a group of 10. If you could get into a group of 10, it'll be cheaper, obviously, but Hopefully they'll give us a call. Usually she said the groups get completed around 2 p.m. and the last boat to depart is at 4.30. Let me be very clear about this. You don't need to wait for six to 10 people. If you're willing to pay the 2,500, they will take you on your own. However, I'm a budget traveler, so I did have to wait for six or 10 people because it's much cheaper. The cost is split amongst the group. Now, the lady took down our number and said that she would call us whenever a group arrived. But keep this in mind, Punta Pierula is not developed, it's not touristic, and it's pretty deserted. So I arrived Friday, we left our number, and they never called us back. We drove over to the port at 3 p.m. because they said 4.30 was the last boat to depart and when we arrived back to the information booth, they simply told us no people arrived to form the groups. So we decided to just stay at this hostel. It was pretty cheap, 1,300 pesos split between three people. Nice. It was one room, a bathroom, and a balcony, two beds. Access to the beach. And it had this kind of like little area with lounge chairs and some shade, which was pretty cool. So we kind of just hung out there at the beach waiting for the next day. Saturday morning, there's a little bit more people. So we finally, finally made a group of 10. So we're about to head out right now to Isla Cocinas. But just letting you know, I want to highlight that that's very stressful and very important. If you're a budget traveler like myself, do not come during the week because Punta Perula is basically deserted. Your best bet is to come on a Saturday or a Sunday when there is actually more people here. But anyways, I got a ride, so let's go. The boat ride was actually pretty neat. It was about 15 minutes and they took us around the bay to just kind of visit the other islands, just sightseeing. They took us to some of the best spots. For example, this particular island has a bufadora or kind of like a water spout. I don't know what do you call this, but anyways, very interesting before they take you to the actual island, Isla Cocinas.
So I just made it to Island Cocinas. It's a beautiful beach, but the first thing I noticed that there was a piece of plastic out there. Let me put my snorkeling gear and let me go get that shit because it looks awful and this beach is beautiful. First mission, pick up that plastic. It's funny because in this clip, I thought I was saving the earth one piece of plastic at a time. But it turns out that the plastic bottle was part of a anchor system of some sort. So I just kind of swam off, left it alone. The trip to Isla Cocinas was a wonderful experience. It's a gorgeous beach. Just remember, it is a bird sanctuary, so they do not allow food, alcohol, or any beverage other than one container of water. Don't go during the week. I recommend that you go on the weekend, especially if you're a budget traveler who's going to depend on the 6 or 10 group. And don't go in the month of April. The optimal conditions for snorkeling is in May, June, and July. So my plan was to go to Punta Perula and take the boat ride on Friday. I wasn't expecting that hiccup, so I wasn't able to go to the second beach. But hey, it just gives me an excuse to go back. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope the video was helpful. And remember, I love each and every one of you.